So I've been doing a lot of thinking lately uh, about our living situation. As much as Miranda and Gabby love Wild Wind, I just think, I think we've imposed on Caleb too long. I think it's time we get our, our own place. Huh. Why? Um, I was, I was thinking the exact same thing. I, I can't live in a hotel anymore. It's not fair to AJ, and he really deserves a real home. So, um, have you started looking? Yeah. I even found the perfect place. Yeah, same here. It's beautiful. Four bedrooms, that's big. Yeah. Um, yeah, that... I was getting to that part. I was just wondering if, um, maybe... You and AJ wanted to move in with us. I mean, I, I know it's totally fast yeah. and you can call no, me crazy. Wait, Bianca, Bianca, look at my listing. It has four bedrooms, too. Mm -hmm. So you don't think I'm crazy? No. <laughs> I think we should move in together. <laughs> so you're really ready to take the step? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm more concerned about you. Why, because I'm the newbie at all of this? Yeah, yeah, you laugh, but yeah, in a way. Like, we, we, we can take things slower if you want to. No, we don't. This is what I want. You and me and our kids growing up together. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I want. So, what's the big plan to get... It's Dixie, JR's mom. Um, I'm really sorry. I, I hope I'm not overstepping by calling you, but uh, I wanted to talk to you about JR. Okay. I know he's done some ugly things, but I think he's really turned a corner. He's committed to staying sober. He wants to make amends to you and AJ. Well, I'd like to believe that. You can. It would mean so much to him and, and to me if you could bring A.J. over for, for a visit, please. He misses him so much. All right, I will talk to A.J. and if he's ready, we'll stop by. That would be great. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Where's A.J.? Outside? Um, A.J. isn't here. He didn't want to come. Why not? He's just not ready yet. But give it time, he'll get there. Time? So you can keep poisoning him against me? What do you want me to say, JR? He's scared. Honestly, I can't blame him. I'm sorry for lashing out like that. I'll go to the club, fish off the pier with him. I know how much he loves that. Actually, um, we probably won't be at the club very much longer. Bianca and I are moving in together. You're serious? I've done everything right. I got sober, I stayed that way, I've waited patiently for you to let me see my son. I thought the least you could do is show me some mutual respect. But instead of keeping it discreet, you are running all over town, rubbing our noses in it. It? What is it? Do you have any idea what this will do to AJ? Not having a father in the house, being raised by two lesbians? No. You're not putting our son through that. You get up in front of a judge and start spouting off that homophobic BS. I can't wait to see how that goes for you. No, don't think about me. Think about AJ. Think about how you're going to be subjecting him to embarrassment and torture for the rest of his life. The only thing I am subjecting him to is a stable, loving home. Yeah, with two mommies. You know, it's tough growing up. Without kids making fun of him, calling his mama lezzy at school. Come on, Marissa. Give AJ a fighting chance. You say that you love him. I do. Then of give course him I the do. the best gift you possibly can. Let him go. 
You think abandoning AJ will be a gift? You're the one he's scared of. If anyone's doing damage, it's you. Oh, trust me. When AJ realizes the life that you've mapped out for him, he's not gonna be able to run to me fast enough. What the hell happened to you? Say goodbye to any hope of visitation with your son. You are not getting anywhere near him. Well, I'd rethink that if I were you. What do you have there? Some statistics on how gay parents destroy children's lives? You know, most studies say the exact opposite. Just remember, I didn't want this to get ugly, but you forced my hand. What did you do? I think the more relevant question is, what did you do? <laughs> if you don't let me have my son, the whole world sees this. And they'll think it was you who put it out there. You are a son of a bitch, you know that? So I've been told. I'll tell you what. 